I'm Garrett, and I'm a certified F-boy. I'm the king of the F-boys. When it comes to women, 10 out of 10, I don't lose. It seems like every single network is starting their own reality show that has something to do with an island. We got ITV with Love Island. We have Too Hot to Handle on Netflix. And now HBO Max has their own called F-Boy Island. For some reason, this one looks like the worst of all the shows. Women have been forced to tolerate the manipulative douchebaggery of F-Boys for far too long. And that's why we're here. Wait a second. What makes them F-Boys? I don't... Is it just because they have tattoos and muscles? Are these guys twins? What is happening in this trailer? Welcome to F-Boy Island. Ladies, the three of you are hoping to find love in this tropical paradise. So it's only three women? So you're telling me that three women have to fight over a bunch of guys? That's weird, isn't it? That's kind of strange. If you guys don't know, this is the definition of an F-boy. F-boy, they the type of guy who can fake liking someone easily and will have six side hoes. He's a player. He moves on extremely fast. If you keep him for more than two weeks, congrats. Person one, Chad dated Veronica. Emily, Kara, and Ava this week. Person two, wow, what an F-boy. So basically, that's exactly what an F-boy is. They're basically a Chad. Okay, and this HBO decided to make an entire show about this. So I think the premise of the show is there's a bunch of good guys and there's a bunch of F boys, and the girls have to figure out who is which. Bro, bruh, bro, bro, bruh, 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 he's bruh. Really cute, but he bruh. looks like he's gonna ruin my life. Three ladies and you at home to figure out who the F is who. Oh my goodness, look at them walking down the beach. One thing I hate is when guys rub their hands together. It doesn't make any sense. What does it mean? You seem like a creep. Oh, here we go. Like, I don't even know. It's gonna be hard. Ugh. He looks like a guy that has two phones. <laughs> Yo, now you see rice gum? I didn't know rice gum was in this show. <laughs> look, this is the classic rice gum pose. The classic rice gum pose, always holding a phone in his hand. Hello? F Boy Island, baby. Hold on, I'm on the phone. So I'm nervous. I'm sweating right now. Legit. What's Legit. But the twist? There's money on the line. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be money on the line? It has. To, it's a worse version of Love Island. There's games involved. There's guys involved. There's a couple girls, not too many. It's like a mix between The Bachelor and Love Island. Except, how much money do they win? Probably like a hundred grand. It's an, it's an American show. Everyone has a chance to win a hundred thousand dollars. Told you. The F boys have admitted to our producers they're just here for the cold hard cash. What? Again, rubbing your hands together. Oh, here we go. I don't want to watch the show. Look at them all hanging out on the boat. Now, my red flags are going off. There's a lot of F boys to get rid of. So let's get them out of here. You're so nice, like really nice. Yeah, like really nice. You trying to play a game? What the heck is this? Come, they can't provide them with a proper bench? Oh, goodbye. I am shocked. F boy, F bye. Please don't tell me that the host is giving these puns. That was the worst pun. F boy, F bye. No. F boy, F bye. How can you say that with a straight face? Okay. I hate this man. Oh, he's a good guy. Because he's crying. See? This guy's got tears in his eyes. He's a good guy. This guy's got tears in his eyes. He's a good guy. I mean, look at this smile. And now we're just going to figure out the other uh, 22 people. It's a game, but we are not a game. Cheers to that. <laughs> No, I, I, there's no way. Honestly, the best part is the elimination, is when the, when the F-boy and the nice guy go to their places. It's so funny. So that's what they do. I'm a nice guy. They say that they told the producer they're a nice guy or they're a F-boy. Are they just self-proclaimed nice guys? Guaranteed they're all F-boys. This is somebody explaining basically what F-boy island is. Go. Welcome to F-boy island. So this island is all F-boys. No, so half of them are F-boys and the other half are nice guys. Oh, okay. So Garrett over here is an F-boy. So, hi. But hmm. Don over there is a nice guy. So. See? That's what the show is, basically. You, you just don't know. Everybody looks exactly the same. We just figured it out. That's the entire show, guys. P people saying that they're a nice guy and they're not a nice guy. Oh, man, am I allowed to watch an episode? Guys, I really want to watch the first episode right now. We have been forced to tolerate the manipulative... Why is she walking slowly on the beach like she's doing some sort of documentary? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did he really just crack an egg on his bicep? You know, this guy's jacked because he just cracked an egg. Oh. What was that? We're here. Almond milk? F-Boy Island. Our self-proclaimed 
Nice guys. Okay. Sure he did. Sure he did. I'm ready to explore that deeper level. He reads books. That's good. So you know he's the nice guy. The worst thing about the show is now that they've introduced a hundred thousand dollars, everybody is gonna try and be a nice person until like they get kicked out. Everyone's gonna try it. There's money on the line. A hundred thousand dollars? You know what? I'm gonna have to watch it and give my rating. Let's see what these girls have to say about this. I've fallen for F boys in the past. I, I am an F boy tamer. I've done some good taming. I'm over the players. I'd love to find true love. <laughs> that was the most awkward turn. Oh my god, that was the most awkward turn I've ever seen in my entire life. Guaranteed the producers were like, can you just give us a quick little spin? No, we don't have drones. We don't have drones. We can't do that. Can you spin for us? And she gave the most awkward spin I've ever seen in my entire life. Men and women. Wait, they do have drones. There's clearly a drone shot. Get it together, HBO. Where's your budget? Okay, no, I think I'm done looking at this. I was gonna try and watch it. Like I was really gonna try and watch it because I watch almost every reality show, but this one just seems like it's really bad. Like there's no redeeming qualities. And the fact that they say F boy, even though it's HBO Max, a network that you have to pay for with swearing and nudity, why are they not? Say, why are they saying F boy? Trying to clean it up for the kids. Don't let your kids watch it. I have no idea. It's it's stupid. If you guys want a good show, guys, watch Love Island. Now that, ah, now that's a show. Thank you guys for watching a little bit of F boy Island with me. I'm gonna watch an episode or three, maybe the whole season. We'll see how much time I have this weekend, and I'll come back with a formal review. Okay, so I watched the entire series, and it's not great. It's kind of exactly as you'd expect. The entire show is kind of like an MTV dating show. It doesn't make sense that HBO is making such mid-content. The host, Nikki Glazier, I, I don't get it. I feel like she's using this platform to display how funny she is with her little stand-up routines in between every episode. She's always around. Dancing is like sex, except that when you're done, he doesn't like toss a towel at you and pretend that he has to get up early for a job he doesn't have. <laughs> the editing is weird. Oh, I love sleeping. So we're gonna be sleep buddies. The F boys are always so crude. When I open up to them, they're like, oh, okay. He's really willing to be like open and all I'm really doing is trying to let you really open your legs to me. <laughs> And the puns, oh my god, the, the puns are terrible. I think the puns are the worst part. Nice guy, nice try. F boy, <laughs> F bye. <laughs> <laughs> and now this guy is dating Jake Paul's ex girlfriend, who's like an OnlyFans star. Like, really? Like, why was he even on the show? That's You can tell that these people were just on the show for clout. I don't wait at the door at the club. Ever. But hey, you know, if you want to watch the show, it's it's a good mind-numbing show. You can just have it on in the background. You're not going to be missing much. That's for sure. 